Once dubbed the most dangerous toy ever, the Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Lab is a unique and controversial artifact of scientific exploration from the post-World War II era. Created by A.C. Gilbert, an inventor, educator, magician, and entrepreneur, the lab was released in 1950 and aimed to introduce young minds to the marvels of atomic energy and nuclear physics. The creation of the Atomic Energy Lab was closely tied to the events of World War II and subsequent Cold War tensions. The wartime development of atomic weapons underscored the immense power and potential hazards of nuclear technology. As the world grappled with the ethical and practical implications of atomic energy, the U-238 Atomic Energy Lab attempted to demystify the subject and promote scientific understanding. Designed as an educational toy and marketed to children, the set included a range of scientific instruments and materials, such as a Geiger counter for detecting radiation, a Wilson cloud chamber to watch the vapor trails of alpha particles, a spintheroscope for observing atoms decay, and various radioactive sources, including four different samples of uranium ore, all of which allowed budding scientists to perform basic experiments and witness the captivating properties of atomic particles. The kit also came with an instruction booklet, a book on how to prospect for ore, and this comic book, Learn How Dagwood Splits the Atom, which features the classic comic book couple Blondie and Dagwood Bumstead, as well as their children, dog, and friends who all explain the basics of atomic energy. As a matter of fact, this comic book was written with the assistance of General Leslie Groves, director of the Manhattan Project, as well as several other notable scientists, and it was included as a freebie inside the kit. Although A.C. Gilbert claimed that the Atomic Energy Lab was perfectly safe, so long as kids did not take the radioactive ores out of their protective jars, the kit didn't sell well and was discontinued in 1951 after only 5,000 were made. The reason, it turns out, wasn't so much concerns over the kit's radioactivity, it was that the lab was very expensive, selling for $49.50, which is about the equivalent of $600 today.